Hi, I'm Amy with Good Little Home, and I hope to inspire you to create a beautiful home one little project at a time. So today, I have a couple of things. First of all, I have a new friend. Do you want to meet him? Okay, adult women should not be playing with puppy chicken, puppy chicken, hello, hello puppy chicken. I love puppy chicken. So, puppy chicken has something to tell you. Amy is going to be working at... Home Smart Lifestyle Queen Creek! Yay! So if anyone wants to buy or sell, you want to call Amy. Thank you. Okay. All right. Chicken did his big announcement and he did a great job of it. So, today, back to what we were supposed to be doing. Uh-oh, something just popped up on my computer. Okay. So today, we're going to be doing a, pro a project with Maker Studio Stencil. So... <laughs> There's a couple of things. We're going to be using just a round white plate. This one is very plain. It's from Dollar Tree. Guess what I paid? Yes, a dollar. Okay. This one is fancier. It has scalloped edges. It's from Ikea. It's probably my favorite, and it's five dollars. So we have to think about using that one. This one's the intermediate from Walmart. I don't know if you can see it or not. I'm trying to get it to show you. It's got these little bumps around the edge. So it does have some ornamentation on it. And it's a very nice plate also. And I think these are about $3. So that's the plate. And today we're using the $1 Dollar Tree plate. Okay, you are also going to need some ceramic paint and this one is called dark chocolate latte we all love our lattes right this is $12.99 retail and we are going to be using this stencil and we're going to be using the blessed part of it and this stencil is $16.99 retail but but wait there's more you can buy it in a bundle with this one that has the Farm Fresh Pumpkin. That's really cute. And look at the bottom. It's got that truck that we all love. And then it's got these. I can figure out how to do this in the back. It's got these sunflowers you could put in the truck. Or it's got these hay bales that you could put in the truck. And then it's got the little banner that, on the side that you could put anything on. And the other thing that comes in that bundle is this one. It is Leftovers Are For Quitters. And I'm not so sure I like that one, but it's okay. What I think is really cute on this one, though, is this, whoops, over here, the home. Can you see that without glare? There we go. And you can use a leaf or an acorn or an apple for the O. So I think that one is really cute. And the utensils. I'm probably going to do something with those closer to Thanksgiving. So watch for that. But <clears throat> so you can buy all three of the stencils in a bundle for $48. So that's a little bit of a savings. They're $16.99 each. I didn't do the math to figure out the percentage savings. Sorry, but it is a good deal if you buy the bundle. All right. So down to what we're supposed to be doing today. Today, I'm going to be doing the blessed on my plate. So hang on one second. Let me get my cameras flipped around and I practice this, you guys. So I, I hope it works. If it doesn't, you can't say I didn't practice because I did. Let's see. Oh, look at that. It worked. Woohoo. Okay. So I'm going to put my microphone on because that's the other thing I forget. You, I'm hoping you could hear me through the beginning of that, but if you couldn't, I'm, I apologize. Okay, now I am all mic'd up and ready to go. So, <clears throat> the first thing I need to do is, of course, open this up.
and it comes on a cardboard backer. And you can see they're flexible and it has cut lines on it for where to cut the different pieces. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut this one out. Oh my god, I love fall. It's kind of cute too. I've seen it like on a hoodie. Okay, I'm also going to cut out the thankful because I want to show you that you can sub in the word thankful if you want to instead of blessed. I'm going to leave it on blessed for today. Okay, so then these just peel off. They are sticky on the back. They are reusable. You can probably use each one. 10 to 12 times. If you take good care of it, you can probably get even more uses out of it than that. But we're just going to say 10 to 12, just to be conservative. Okay, so now I'm going to take this and I'm just going to stick it on my plate like a big sticker, like kids do their stickers on things. I mean, seriously, that's how easy this is. <clears throat> the only thing you want to be careful of is you don't want bubbles in the clear part. This is a stencil, but it's a silk screen. So all of this white is actually silk screen. And I don't know if you can see it. I've got a bubble right there, which is okay because it's not on the silk screen part. And I've got some crunches on the edges. Again, okay, it's not on the silk screen part. But we don't want bubbles or crunches on any of the spots that are white. And again, I'm just going to make sure I've got it adhered. <clears throat> As always, I have to apologize for my gravelly allergy voice. Um, we have really bad air quality in Phoenix today for some reason. I think that someone said we're getting smoke from the California fires. So I don't know. But it's making my allergies crazy. Okay, so all I've done is I took some of the ceramic paint and I stuck it on my little spreader. And now I'm just going to start pulling it across my picture. And then you want to give it a little bit of pressure because you are pressing the ceramic um, paint through that mesh stencil and just a little bit more there's a little guy right there that doesn't want to cover okay got it and the same on this side this little the little swooshy doesn't want to cover i think i'm going to put a dollop on the little sushi. How do you like that guy? Now you have to cut because I dolloped you. Okay. And I'm going to keep going. Now, when you're doing this on light, when you're doing um, 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 um the etching cream. I can get this here and it's no big deal. Nobody cares. I'll wipe it right off. It'll come right off. So, but don't let it dry. You want to wipe it off while it's still wet. And I noticed when I was working that I got a little bubble over here. I hope it turned out okay. If it didn't, I'm going to show you how to fix it. And it did kind of get a little extra. But there you go. That's all there is to it. Now, I was going to show you how to clean up over here where the little bubble was. And you know what? I didn't give myself a wet rag in here. Um, can you see here that it's not a very clean line? I'm just going to take my Q-tip and run it along there and clean it up. I really need water. Um, hang on. I am going to have to run and get a cup of water. I will be right back. Okay. 
you know. Every time I think I have all my supplies, I've forgotten like one thing. I guess I could make a checklist like like airplane pilots have before they take off to make sure you haven't forgotten something. So, okay. So all I'm doing is sticking my little Q-tip down in the water. And I'm just going to run it down here, clean that up. Right there. Can you guys see what I'm doing? I'm just taking my Q-tip and running it where the extra paint was. And now I'm making a mess. I'm just going to go ahead. Can you see that I just erased that whole little section there? I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go ahead and erase that whole little section. And while I've got my water here, I'll go ahead and take this off where I showed you that it's no big deal because you can wipe it off. But for a big blotch of paper towel, it's better. You see that comes right off. Now, <clears throat> the paint that I am using is, we have two formulations of ceramic paint. One of them is a no-bake, and that is the new formula. So if you order something from a maker studio now, you are going to get the new formula no-bake ceramic paint. And all you have to do is let this plate dry for 12 to 14 hours, and you are done. Now, I am working with the old formula, which needs to be heat set. So to heat set this, I'm going to put it in an oven, and I'm going to bake it at 350 for about 35 minutes. I'm going to leave it in the oven and not take it out until um, the oven has cooled back to room temperature and the plate has cooled back to room temperature as well. All right, so now... I'm going to grab my little stencil and I'm going to line it back up as best I can. Now, if you don't feel comfortable doing this, trying to line something back up, you can just erase the whole thing and start completely over. Just take a rag to it and erase the whole darn thing and start over. Okay, so put some more ink on that spot. And there we go. So that's all there is to it. You will see this plate again next week because I'm going to do some watercolor washes on the leaf. So that is coming up. And then I wanted to talk a little bit about taking care of these stencils. Because like I said, it depends how long they last on how well you take care of them. So I'm going to take my water and pour it here into my bath. And then I'm going to take my stencil and put it in here. And I usually use, here we go, like a Mr. Clean magic eraser. And you just want to take it down in the water. You can do this in your kitchen sink. I happen to not have a kitchen sink here in my art room. I wish I did, but I don't. So you're just going to take this and you're going to wash all of that paint out of it and again it does work better in the kitchen sink than it does in this little tub but that's all you're going to do is you're going to wash it you can use soap and water 
and then you are going to turn it sticky side up to dry and that is very important that it's sticky side up if you mess up and put it sticky side down it's going to stick to whatever you put it to you can rescue it with an ice cube but sometimes it ruins your stencil and that would be sad so that is it that is all there is to this so if all of you that are watching could give me some hearts we like hearts because hearts make facebook like me so i need some hearts from all of you even if you're watching on a replay put hearts the other thing i need for you to do is share i need you to please share 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 this is how i make a living and facebook really 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 likes it better if you heart and share so have a blessed rest of your night have a great weekend and i will be back with you again on let's see it's friday night um probably on monday and we're going to be doing a blue and white pumpkin on monday um i'll be using a pumpkin from walmart as a base so that'll be fun and i will see y'all then thanks for stopping by and crafting with me i hope we can craft again sometime